Well, folks, we got a whole lot of toxic gamers tonight. We have a man that costs GTA 6 on them streets. Coming in at our number 13 spot. Let's go for 13 likes on the video, and we're gonna get to the actual game news in a bit as well. But a 4chan user has been arrested after making uh, heaven proposals, let's just say, Bruh. against a Florida sheriff and adding in Minecraft at the end. Roll it. Richard! South Brunswick Police. South Brunswick Police. Just so you know, we're uh, audio visually recording. Richard, recording. can you step down here, please? What's up? Come on down this way. How are you? How are you doing? Go Okay, all right. Whoa! Very dangerous! There's a... Uh, Damn! Out of Volusia County, Florida. Oh. That's a toxic gamer, guys. Pretty incident that you're aware of what's going on. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I think I saw you there. What you talked about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go back to headquarters. We'll do everything. Um, Copy the search warrant. Um, yeah. For his, for his uh, room, we're gonna get computer devices, uh, phones, whatnot, and now come with us. Oh, I'll uh, write your receipts. So you have everything. Hey! Apparently on February 23rd, he was flying way too hard and he ended up going ham at the Florida Sheriff by saying that just bleep Chitwood in the head and he stops being a problem, but Chitwood in the head solves an immediate problem permanently, just Chitwood in the head and him in Minecraft. And check this out, detectives were able to track Golden to a New Jersey address on March 1st and took him into the custody and that's the face of that toxic gamer, I mean, kind of looking like the, the fat version of Moist Critical. <laughs> Moist Critical, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This man thought he was playing GTA 6 in real life. We also have some news on GTA 6, we're actually gonna get to that in just a little bit, but also check this out guys. Data miners have also found references to Alejandro, Valeria, and Alex as upcoming operators to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 and surely we're talking about Valeria and a lot of the homies are down bad uh, Cartel Mommy Inc. Definitely best operators coming soon. Chad Alejandro. I could have saved Va Va Valeria. Oh my god Valeria she's not real I know but Mara Alexander wasn't real at our purpose either. And we have people out here ready to drop $70. I mean damn bro like drop that $70 for your kids bro like maybe buy some diapers for them instead of like spending 70 bucks on a digital item okay. Now surely Valeria is looking like a snack and we're talking about Activision and you know for the fact that they're gonna be charging $20 for every skin. They were in Modern Warfare 2's campaign, we paid $70 for this game but again they're probably gonna be charging us $20. They're gonna be milking that pom-pom man. I mean they love milking that pom-pom here guys. But ladies and gentlemen let me tell you a story okay. As the homie Deshaun once said that good girls are found in every corner of the earth but unfortunately the earth is is round. Smash the like button, subscribe right now for some wisdom, but also check this out, right? Sneeko and Moist Critical Penguin Z has been beefing for way too long, right? Sneeko also pulled up his uh his clips. I'm gonna show you guys my Canadian clips. This is how it works in Canada, guys. So uh got the got the Canadian clips now. I'm Bruh. saying he started dancing around, waving his gun, and Moist Critical actually ended up showing his mags, his uh his weapon. This is the biggest drama on YouTube right now, and Sneeko actually came out and responded by saying that little bro duck the fight and the debate lol commentary channels fans sit on they never get cancelled and rely on drama for adsense dollars and uh, he ended up leaking charlie most critical dm where he said that hey man can you please calm down with these meltdown for like another week i'm doing another merch drop and would love to continue to use you for those damn and then sneaker said that don't waste time watching people who stand for nothing and then sneaker responded by saying that i was silenced by the matrix but their agents just can't stop saying my name my guy after you drop that biggest bumble clad by saying that everybody should watch their girl getting railed on uh, getting buka killed by a bunch of men and everybody should be sitting there watching that you just lost the plot i want to know whether you're team charlie or team sneako let me know in the comments but guys check this out so spider-man 2 ps5 will also feature very cool new dialogue technology wow Beautiful! And this news is coming from Insomnia Games themselves and it's coming from their lead engine programmer Ellen who says that the tech will make its debut in the upcoming game, leaving fans to guess what that could entail. We're hearing that it's gonna be a new technology for the dialogue, maybe the NPCs whenever they're running around they would be uh, out of breath and, and maybe they're gonna they're gonna talk like that and maybe they're gonna be talking really <laughs> like that so that's what this tech is all about. It's apparently also gonna be in the Wolverine game but I'm sitting here, I'm like, can a brother perhaps get to see that? To actually know whether this is real or not? Especially if you want to subscribe right now if you want to see the gameplay. But also, Microsoft claims 
EA is PlayStation's biggest third-party publisher, not Activision. Die off, little kid, die off. They say, according to the Xbox console maker, Activision ranks fifth behind EA, UV Cavs, Take Two Interactive, and Sony itself. Sony has 286 games which are exclusive to PlayStation. Microsoft commented, adding that Sony keeps its first party titles almost entirely exclusive to PlayStation. As examples, it's named God of War, Spider Man, and The Last of Us. Now, that is a brown yeah. moment indeed, but I guess Microsoft is speaking the facts because EA got that FIFA, they got that Madden, and a lot of people buy them, just like how people buy Call of Duty every single year. People also buy FIFA and Madden every single year, but I mean, damn, son, like Microsoft do be kind of capping with this situation. Situation. Do you think they're capping? Do you think they're not capping? Everybody's kind of sick and tired of the situation. I kind of hope that this deal gets blocked for the memes. <gasps> Yo, for real, I don't care who wins at the end, but if this deal actually gets blocked, bro, the memes, the sauce, and the heat would absolutely gonna be insane on them Twitter streets. People are gonna be dropping DDTs, soaplexes. Some would even be dropping those pedigrees and tombstone pile drivers. For the memes, it's gonna be sauce if it gets blocked at this point. I mean, damn, son, they've been, they've been milking the pom-pom like crazy. But check this out, Twitch remove Chica's live emote for bullying oh, so shit. you see this family friendly apparently this is not family friendly according to twitch they are saying that the reason they have banned this is obviously chica she got 28 by 28 56 by 56 112 by 112 i mean damn uh the reason they gave uh, this is coming from twitch they said that this is disallowed content it targeted insults bullying and threatening or inciting abuse guys this right here is abusive this right here is demonic this caused bullying this is what's wrong with everything in society that's what twitch is saying and you want to see what they did after check this out right twitch has unfortunately been hit by layoffs with 400 employees being let go oh, oh, and this is also after the ceo emmett uh stepped down also i made a video on this doctor disrespect situation because a lot of people were mad a lot of people were angry when he revealed his brand new game by the name of dead raw because the game isn't looking too good at Admittedly, it is in pre pre alpha and they're saying that it's gonna be better once the game is finalized but dr disrespect did say that whenever that he reveals the game it's gonna be better in fact like a couple of months ago he said that it is already better looking than modern warfare 2 right and a lot of people got mad a lot of people are also defending i want to know where you at and apparently dr disrespect beats out 24 other players and he win his own game to end the night during the real roll it Doctor, 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 doctor. Dis, 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 dis. Respect, 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 respect. Boot! Speaking of Battlefield 2042, it saw a 500% player boom because of PlayStation Plus live service. And a lot of people are shaking. People are doing helicopters with their woolies. And a lot of people are jumping around. And I've seen like the entire streets on Twitter saying that this is actually a really good game right now. A lot of people are loving the game. I tried the game after almost one year of not playing and I'm still disappointed. It's kind of wild to see it's making a comeback and it's kind of similar to Cyberpunk. I mean, nowadays game comes out unfinished. Everybody complains about it. And if their player base goes down, that's when they attempt to fix the game. And it takes about like, what, a year, sometimes a year and a half. And then everybody's back on the game and everybody's just praising the game and it becomes free to play on top. And uh, yeah, man, it, it, that's the Cyberpunk effect, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what y'all think. Also, we ended up getting Star Wars Jedi Survivor official story trailer and people are jumping around. People, no, nobody's dropping DDTs apparently. People are actually loving this and it is coming out on April 20th. Personally, I'm not into Star Wars. Uh, yeah. I wanna know if you are, one if you are, two if you're not. Let me know your thoughts. I'm so happy that this game looks amazing. Oh my God, can't wait to be the, 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 with the crew, with the, with the Mantis and more. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Glad we got to see a glimpse of the old Mantis crew again. Excited to see what planets we get to explore this time. Well done to all the artists and devs who made this, uh, wh wh which makes it be uh, a, 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 a incredible experience. Goosebumps every time! I mean, I definitely love to see people shaking. I definitely love to see people being positive for once, okay? For once! For once! Obviously, they want to label you and me and every one of us as toxic gamers, toxic and problematic whenever we question something. 
we're toxic and problematic, but whenever we are loving it, they're like, yeah, I mean, uh, and speaking of exactly that, you want to see what the toxic gamers done this time or what they are trying to do to the toxic gamers? Check this out. So Rainbow Six Siege, they came on. They said that we have a zero tolerance policy regarding toxicity. Discover the new update of the reputation system. Voice chat restrictions. Oh, damn, look, kid. Damn. Muff got out of mutes they got out of mutes bro repeat offender prevents disruptive rainbow six.com player protection uh, <laughs> and their objective is to reduce in-game toxicity voice chat penalties are on and shout out to the homie t-rex for adding me in the situation so that uh, she like she loves some anti-toxic measure <laughs> Bruh. also shout out to the homie abdullah for adding me in the situation this is a rumor so take it as a rumor obviously we're talking about gta6 this game is never gonna come out but admittedly, we had that in-game image. I will link you that in just a second, so stick around for that one. Matthias, he's considered to be like 50-50, right? Like, I'm not sure about his track record. I do not know about it, but I have heard about him. No disrespect, but a lot of people actually bring him in whenever he talks about GTA 6. And he actually said this from what we understand. So translated from Portuguese, so it's not going to be accurate. But says that from what we understand, Rockstar Games' next step will be to update all of us players on the progress of the next Grand Theft Auto title and it's gonna be coming soon and the last step from what I hear is that they're gonna present the game definitively when the development is in final stage so he's saying that they're gonna be updating this very soon and once the game is in final stages that's when they're gonna drop a trailer and also this is by far the only 8k image that we have of GTA 6 click on this video on the screen I data show the image of GTA 6 in this video check it out before it's taken down or click the video on the left if you have missed that check these videos out guys and I will see you right there